everyone, Emily here covering the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase. In this video, I'm going to run through my top five announcements, community comments, so why don't you sit back, relax and enjoy this video. This week at E3, Xbox and Bethesda run a 90 minute event showcasing what's coming up this year. There was something for everybody in this event with so many games across a ton of different genres. I actually jumped onto Instagram and asked the community what they thought of the event. If you aren't following me already on Instagram, you can check that out at retro.gamer.girl. So now I'm going to share a few of those comments with you. Retro Gamer X1987 said Stalker 2 looked amazing and Battlefield 2042 is going to be insane online, can't wait. Gundam Russ, who also has a YouTube channel, has said can't wait for Forza and Halo, definitely for me too. Z Aussie Gamer commented, great show, really selling Game Pass in my opinion, but still some awesome games coming through that we haven't seen been shown for a while. Fable, PDZ, etc. My comment back was uh, regarding Fable and of course they haven't really shared anything on that but I'm super excited to see in the future if anything is released for Fable. And lastly there are a lot of comments that were excited for Forza 5, Starfield and Redfall. Also I wanted to share two honorable mentions. Now okay they didn't make my top five but they are two things that caught my attention and the first one is the worldwide premiere of the mini fridge. The second, the gameplay trailer for Battlefield 2042. When they run that quad into the chopper, it gets me every time. Now it's hard to narrow down the best bits, but I've done my best to capture my highlights. So let's kick things off. Number five, Bethesda's Starfield. Although we didn't see much of the game itself, I am excited to see where this game goes and follow the progress all the way through. The title is the first new universe from Bethesda in 25 years. It looks to me that it's going to be an RPG, space exploration, open world. Well, that's what I'm running with. I'm really pumped and excited for this game. So let's take a look at the trailer now. They say, the wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of Constellation now, part of our family. What you've found, it's the key to unlocking everything. We reach your Constellation. This is all we've been working towards. Jonathan Ralph looks good. 
We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array full check. Your space lane is clear. That's why we're here. Main engines go. Ignition. To discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. Number four, Forza 5 has officially been announced and the story mode looks incredible. When I watched the trailer, it does note that it was captured on the series consoles and it looks phenomenal, so lifelike. If you're a fan of the Forza series or racing games, this one is going to be epic. Number three, Xbox showcased a ton of games that are going to be released in the coming months on Game Pass. I'm really excited about a lot of those games, uh, specifically Microsoft Flight Sim and the Maverick add-on that was revealed. Also, Psychonauts 2 is going to be released on August 25th. One game I'm really excited to check out, so let's take a peek at the trailer right now. The mother I can't believe I'm really here! Psychonauts headquarters! Look at all these gadgets! The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. Time for justice! The fate of the free-thinking world is in your hands. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. If I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. Also, the Game Pass good news 
doesn't stop there. You can pre-install the games before launch that are coming in the future to Xbox Game Pass. Number two, Sea of Thieves has a Disney crossover with Pirates of the Caribbean content coming to the franchise. A Pirate's Life is a new original story which is set to launch on June 22nd and it's free. Who doesn't want to play as Captain Jack and his crew? Let's take a look at the announcement trailer now. from beyond the horizon. A new danger is coming on the tides. And the one who might stop this ruin, trapped for all forever in the sea of the damned. Now to save the pirate life, you must start by saving the life of one. Didn't realize we had company. Captain Jack Sparrow. But I suspect you already knew that. Because of the treasure Jack stole, a darkness followed him here. And if it's not stopped, this world will sink into shadow. This sea holds many secrets. A new body at last. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves, it's nothing but cursed crews, bloodthirsty mermaids, a legion of dead, angry pirates. Oh yes, and now one Davy Jones. Hello. Well. I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. A world without the eternal abyss. It's a world that refuses to face the truth. Nothing lasts forever. Destroy them! I don't suppose, by chance, there's a second one of those? <laughs> the Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. Drum roll, please. Let's go. Number one, Redfall. By far, one of the most exciting game announcements I've seen this year so far, hands down. The game's art style and characters look insanely polished from the development team at Arcane Austin. The town is under siege by vampires who have blocked out the sun and cut off Redfall from the rest of the world. Trapped, you must fight, selecting a hero from the diverse roster of characters to slay the vampires. The game's supernatural themes and being a first person shooter, I'm not gonna lie, is right up my alley. So we're gonna take a further look at the trailer now. Centimeters dramatically elongated. Go on, make yourself useful. <laughs> so, uh, that was fun, right? That's your cue, mate. Sleep tight. You know what this reminds me of? My time in the Himalayas! Let me lay her down! Let him put down! 
You think they can't kill you anytime they want? Hey, asshole! Everyone, that was my top five picks from the Xbox and Bethesda showcase. There was some honorable mentions thrown in there and community comments from everyone over on Instagram. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and a huge thank you to the Xbox Australia team for sending me an early bird box to keep me warm and hydrated watching the show. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that supports my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe and until next time, I'll talk to you later.